Welcome back to the Supreme Black Podcast. This is your boy D Rose, man. Uh, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Hope everybody is having a, a great Tuesday. Just to jump right into the, the discussion today is uh, something that I wasn't aware of until one of our Supreme Black family members had actually sent this to me, uh, which is the new Border Vision, which is something that Trump had initiated when he was in office and they had officially. Uh, voted on it, I think it was six to three, and it went into effect like June 8th or 9th. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what that actually protects is the uh, the elite, like, groups within America of Border Patrol, ICE. Uh, so all of those tactical groups, they have the right to search anyone that they feel that is an immigrant within this 100-mile border enforcement zone which you can see it covers a lot of space so it's a hundred mile border enforcement zone from each coast from north south east and west so that's going to impact cities like new york uh houston um miami you name it california so it's a lot of different places that are right on the border that are fall within this zone but why this is so important is that these are the same tactical groups that are actually sent to any major protest um and with that being said is that if for an example like it was shared with me if there was another george floyd incident and there was protest if the tactical groups were the ones to actually inflict and harm you they are protected by the courts and they could never be charged for anything so if you haven't been aware of what's going on at the border, whether it's Florida, whether it's um, Texas, these tactical groups are very, very aggressive. Some of them have been deadly. People have lost their lives at the border and there's nothing that can be done about it. So if to go back to the example, if Derek Chauvin was actually uh, uh, ICE or one of the tactical groups, uh, from Border Patrol, and he was the one that had his knee on George Floyd, it would have been nothing done about it. And so the reason why I brought this to our attention is because we all know that they're going to go after minorities because you don't you don't see ICE ever run into white people's communities or a house. So this is just something to be mindful of is because if you run across these groups, you probably just want to really cooperate as best way as possible and record the entire interaction net may not stop anything because if they are extremely aggressive they have the right to legally search you do whatever they want to do kick in your door do however and so i would expect for these groups to actually start to get displaced into major communities that have a lot of violence i.e your new yorks your chicago's your californians etc i think this is just the first step of what a lot of people say is martial law but if you have these type of tactical groups that are being protected by this 100 mile border enforcement, you have to know that there's going to be some extra bullshit coming on the back end. This isn't just something that is being put in place just for, you know, you know what I'm saying, shits and giggles. If you are somebody or they are speculated that there could be an immigrant, in which we all know that you can't tell the difference between an actual real Haitian or African American, you can't tell the difference between a, a Hispanic that's from here and somebody that's not. So that puts minorities under a real microscope to where we could get our privacy invaded at any time. Car stops, truck stops, you, you name it. Uh, but as you look above, you can see that a lot of cities are starting to take action to protect their communities from inhumane and uh, immoral border policies that impact everyone uh, but by supporting the new border vision. So you can go online and you type in new border vision, it will come up. It is very, very limited information on this but it's definitely something to look into it's considered a new border vision as always this is your boy d rose i'm out long live cc